Earlier this year, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention gave a sample of the swine flu to several drug manufacturers so they could begin to develop vaccines. Clinical trials could begin in early August. Emory University in Atlanta is one of the health facilities chosen to test the vaccines. Dr. Mark Mulligan says he needs 300 volunteers. The only way any new medicine or vaccine gets developed is by community participation. We're hoping that the uh, national uh, emergency that we're in, people's concern, will lead to lots of volunteers. Eight health facilities around the country will test the vaccines, first in healthy adults, then in all age groups. The hope is to have 100 million doses of the vaccine ready by mid-October. Vanderbilt University is also one of the study sites. Dr. William Schaffner heads Vanderbilt's Department of Preventive Medicine. The worst case scenario would be that H1N1 comes in in large measure, has a big outbreak very early before we have vaccine available. As with any vaccine that is being rushed into production, there are concerns about dangerous side effects or allergic reactions. But public health officials are also concerned about a possible onslaught of H1N1 cases. In April, the flu forced a number of schools to close. They had to be sanitized before they could reopen. U.S. Education Secretary Arne Duncan is concerned about how many schools could close this year because of the virus. We got a little bit lucky last year, frankly, where this didn't hit until late in the school year. We are not going to be lucky going into this school year. It's going to, we have to be ready now. Scientists do not really know why some people seem to be at higher risk than others, but those who come down with the H1N1 virus most often are school-aged children, teenagers, and young adults. Doctors at Children's National Medical Center in Washington have ordered additional masks, respirators, and flu medication. Dr. Peter Holbrook says the hospital is ready to put sick children on cots in public areas if they need to. By all means, we need to be very concerned about uh, the possibility that this is going to come back in a big way. The virus has not really gone away. Children continue to get the flu. Dozens of cadets at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy are sick. The spread of a flu in summer has surprised health officials. William Humble directs health services in Arizona. In fact, my, my whole career in public health over 20 years, I've never seen flu circulating in the middle of the summer. The Food and Drug Administration says it will speed the approval of the H1N1 flu vaccine to help stall the pandemic. Carol Pearson, VOA News.